In this problem, we're going to solve for the indicated variable. So we've got um, f is equal to g m sub 1 m sub 2 over r squared. And we're solving this for m sub 2. Now these m sub 1 and m sub 2 are two different variables. So keep that in mind. I think, I think m stands for mass in this formula. It's been a while since I've had physics. Um, now one thing I, I'll point out right to begin with. See how we have this g to the side of this fraction? That indicates multiplication. That means times. So you can equally, if you have that to the side, you can put it up on top of the fraction if you want. So we can have g m sub 1, m sub 2, all over r squared. Okay, let's go through our steps. First step, get rid of parentheses. Don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. Now, we only have one denominator, the r squared. So that's our LCM. We'll multiply both sides by that. So we're going to multiply it times the f. And we'll also multiply it times the fraction. I'm going to do that. These uh, r squared is going to cancel right here. And we got f r squared is equal to g m sub 1 m sub 2. Now step 3. Get everything with the variable we're solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. We're solving for m sub 2. Everything has m sub 2 is over on the right side and everything else is already on the left side. So that's done. Step 4. If the variable we're solving for is in two or more terms, Terms are separate by pluses and minuses, so this is just in one term. Uh, step five, divide both sides by what's in front of slash back of the variable we're solving for. We're solving for m sub 2. There's a g m sub 1 in front of it. So we're going to divide both sides by g m sub 1. And when you do that, these g is going to cancel. And these m sub 1 is going to cancel. And we get m sub 2 is equal to f r squared all over g m sub 1. And that's our answer.